Well, hello, friends and fans everywhere. Once again, it's your fitness captain, Jason speaking. Another glorious, positively sublime day in Canada. Although I'm not in a park right now, you can't see the weather. But trust me, it is. I'm going to go outside later. But right now, as you see, I'm in my nice exercise room right now. It's pretty exquisite. Small, but very nice. So I'm going to show you guys right now what we call the incline press for the chest, okay? Here's the bench right here. Now I could flatten a little bit for the for what they call the flat bench press, but at this bench, I've angled it just a certain way here. I'm trying to use my creativity because the bench normally, you have to lift this and it gets angled higher. But <clears throat> we want to work the upper pecs. And I'm going to place my feet on some dumbbells that I've placed on the ground here. Anytime you put your feet up, whether it be on the bench or in this case on the dumbbells, it's going to make the chest work harder. You're going to use less weight. But again, friends and fans, unless you're trying to be a power lifter, the weight is not so important. You just want enough weight to target the muscle. We want good form, and this is what it's going to look like, even though I'm a little tired today. Again, chest. Here we go. Grab a weight that you can do about 8 to 10 reps on average. For most people, ladies, maybe 12 to 15 reps, a little higher, okay? Here we go. We're just gonna, I'm putting my feet right on top of these dumbbells for support. <clears throat> Back is flat, flush against the bench, of course, okay? Dumbbells are right over your chest and, and almost your face, but more over the chest. We don't want the dumbbells too far behind us, okay? Here we go. Just release, bend those elbows, Get a nice range of motion, explode back up, pause for one or two seconds, back down, exhale at the top for the contraction. Breath, deep breath in on the way down, and exhale. Just keep it going. Get that nice squeeze at the top. For strong pectoral muscles, chest. Yeah, come on. All those guys want a great chest, of course. This is one way to do it. Ah, yes. Explode. One more. Power up. Ah. Release slow. Let the dumbbells go. Woo. That's your incline. Woo. Chest press. I got dumbbells here on the floor. I don't want to trip. <laughs> Woo. Oh, get a nice. Squeeze, flex those muscles. Ah, feels great. That's the incline press, friends and fans. Give that a try. Ah, ah, and I promise you, you won't be disappointed. We're gonna do a lot more workout videos this summer, God willing. Ah. Oh. It's great to have a super chest. I want to add a little bit of size to my chest this summer. <laughs> Sometimes it's difficult. I got a lot of tears in the right shoulder. So, but again, it's all about good form, my friends. And uh, I'm already feeling it. That felt amazing. I might go up and wait on the next set. Hold on, friends and fans. Hold on. Okay, friends and fans. <clears throat> Just a little squeeze on the abs there. Now let's try an incline fly, shall we? We're gonna have the bench angled about the same, same angle. I don't know if this is 30 degrees, 40 degrees or what, but <clears throat> try different, try angling the bench at different angles, friends. You could try, you know, do a, a 45 degrees, do it 90 degrees, do it flat. Just get different angles, targets that area a little bit differently, right? So, <clears throat> Now, again, pick a weight you can do 8, 10, or 12 reps or more. Here we go. Again, exact same motion in the, it, or on the bench, that is. The feet are up. Now, the dumbbells are right over my chest, okay? Now, we're just going to remember, you, pro, you may have heard this before. It's almost like uh, hugging a tree on these dumbbell flies. We're going to bring it out as wide as you comfortably can and back. Now this bench is in the way right now, these two things here. Hold on. One moment, friends. Sorry, I, let me just adjust the bench. 
Okay, my friends. Sorry, I have to video myself today, but hopefully you can get an idea from that angle. At least see somewhat what I'm doing here, okay? I wish I could put this camera right over above me, but... <clears throat> so, again, we're on the bench, feet are up. Slight, we're gonna have a slight bend in our elbows, my friends, okay? And then we're just gonna bring out, a, some people can go really wide, whatever your range of motion will allow you. But just feel that nice stretch, and then squeeze at the top. Really squeeze those chest muscles, right? Now I'm going fairly light just to show you right now, friends. This feels great. Breathe out at the top, at that contraction, right? And breathe in on the way down, on the stretch, ready? Breathe in. Now exhale, contract the chest, breathe in. Hug that tree, come on, just like that. You don't have to go super fast, nor super slow on these, but you can change your motion. You can go slow if you want, I'm going fairly slow right now. Just like that. One more. Just like that. Oh. Woo. Now that wasn't any, obviously it wasn't going very heavy. But I didn't need to. I already felt that. <clears throat> it felt amazing. Also, I did arms a few days ago. Sometimes when you do arms, actually every single time, if you do arms a day or two before you do your chest, you're not going to use as much weight for your chest because your arms, particularly those triceps and the biceps, but when they get fatigued, it's going to make your chest work a lot harder because your arms are tired, right? So that was the incline fly. That felt amazing. Again, we're trying to target more on the, those upper pecs. I want to work more on my upper pecs this summer. So we did the incline press. We did the incline fly. And uh, maybe I'll show you one more exercise, friends and fans. Okay, friends, carrying on now. We're going to do one more chest exercise today to show you, friends. We're going to do what they call the cable crossover, right? We've got this wicked cable machine. They should have a cable machine in pretty much any heavy-duty gym, okay? Luckily, I've got one here in our exercise room. We're going to set the cables. This is important. We don't want them too high, okay? You want them maybe just above shoulder, wick, shoulder height. By the time these ha angles, the handles hang down, they're about my shoulder height, okay? And from there, we're just going to take a nice athletic stance. Either your left foot forward, right leg back, or your right leg forward, left leg back. I put my left, left leg forward, okay? Right leg back. Now, we're just gonna, once you see me, we're gonna keep, keep the navel sucked in, and we're gonna bring those cables right in front of our navel, squeezing the chest. It's a great exercise for definition. You're gonna see why. Here we go. Just like that. Now, a lot of people, by the way, when they do this exercise, I see that they drop their head quite often. That's a no-no. You can do it a little bit at times, but pretty much keep, try to keep your head neutral. If you got a mirror, that's great. I got a mirror in front of me, and just really feel in the chest. You're gonna feel a little bit in the shoulders, but more in the chest. <clears throat> Pause right here for one or two or three seconds, okay? And then release nice and slow. <clears throat> Elbows are just slightly bent. Just like that. Oh yeah. Come on. I got that athletic stance. My weight's on the right leg, mostly. Stepping forward and just bring those handles out front. Release for the contraction, or here's the contraction, right there. <clears throat> Release for the stretch. <sighs> Exhale. Yeah, come on. This is a great exercise to bring out that line of definition, the chest for the summer. Just like that. Woo, felt great. Might do one more exercise or one more set. Okay, friends, are you ready? Let's do one more set. Here we go. Exact same stance. Let's go. Come on. Squeeze that chest. That's right. Release. Come on. 
Strong chest. Let's go. Keep that head neutral if you can. Come on. Yeah. Abs tight. Come on. Just like that. Pause. One, two. Now, what's great about the cables, I've said this on previous videos, friends and fans, you can quickly lighten the weight, okay? So we're gonna do what they call a drop set. So we're just gonna lessen the weight by about 10 pounds here on the pin, okay? And we're gonna keep it going. Again, we want that burn in the chest. And I'm feeling that burn on this exercise. It's awesome. The elbows are just bent a little bit right there, okay? And then bring them out wide. You're just keeping that slight break in the elbows. Squeeze right in front of your belly button, right? Come. Just like that. Exhale. Release. Woo! Come on. Smile. Come on. It's hard to smile now. They're on fire. Pecs are on fire. <sighs> Woo! Woo! Felt amazing, friends. Do the chest flex. Nothing wrong with that. Woo! Felt amazing. Oh, that's the cable crossovers, friends and fans, to get that further definition and tone in the chest. Okay? Again, I'm not trying to be a bodybuilder. Even though I flex like one, I want to look like a strong gymnast or boxer, because to me, they got the best body. Speaking of which, there was UFC on last night, not pure boxing, but UFC mixed martial arts, right? And uh, I haven't watched it. I was supposed to watch it on pay-per-view last night. I messed up. But anyway, I was doing my research and investigation on the SSP, Secret Space Program. You guys know that's my favorite hobby if you've watched any of my videos. But give those uh, chest exercises a, a try, friends and fans, seriously, okay? You're going to love it. And I hope you friends have a great day today. I hope you're getting that pleasure and enjoyment over the weekend. Remember, you know, live your truth. Express your love. Share your enthusiasm with people. Live with passion. Walk your talk. Take action towards your dreams. And, you know, just try to be the best version of yourself that you can be, my friends and try to embrace your blessings, right? Uh, be thankful, be grateful for everything that you have. Try to live in the moment and know that we live in a remarkable and privileged era. I always say that we live in the informative information superhighway, uninhibited, unedited, and an era of space travel <clears throat> and exploration. You don't see anybody flexing speaking about cosmology, do you? Well, I'm a unique and special man, I like to think. I got a broad mind. And I'm trying to ignite your intellectual curiosity, my friends and fans, and your passion, especially towards living that healthy lifestyle. I try to parlay my abilities, motivate and train people to become physically fit, healthy, and active. And like I've said before, I work out with, sure, a palpable passion. I got a palpable passion for working out. I'm a fitness freak and fanatic, no doubt about it. Working out, I love the way it makes you feel inside and out. And you too, friends, You'll get a feeling of vigor, power, and self-esteem when you have some great workouts. And, you know, it's all about balance. So when you do intense workouts, make sure you get enough rest. Of course, make sure you eat healthy. I try to eat very clean, but you can cheat once a week. Even I do if you're putting in the hard work, right? Um, what else do I want to say? Well, and, you know, working out is my spiritual animal. And, friends, do the best you can. Live strong. Again, try to be grateful for the things that you have. Try to be positive. Try to help others. Again, express your love and peace, but be strong. Let's get our power and sovereignty back. Anyway, my friends, have a great day. It's a gorgeous day out. I hope you guys are experiencing great weather. If not, be patient. I'm sure you'll get some great weather soon, hopefully, okay? So give those chest exercises, again, a, a try. You're going to love them. And we'll do some more chest exercises, show you some new ones, too, hopefully in the future this summer, okay? Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening, friends. Have a great day. See ya. Bye.